Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll explore the inner workings of a classic measuring device, the permanent magnet moving coil, or PMMC instrument, which is often used in analog ammeters and voltmeters. Let's start at the heart of the instrument. We have a powerful permanent magnet, with a north and a south pole, which creates a strong magnetic field. Placed inside this field is the moving coil. This is a lightweight coil of wire wrapped around a soft iron core. This entire assembly is designed to rotate freely. The fundamental principle is this, when the electrical current we want to measure is passed through the moving coil, the coil experiences a force due to the magnetic field. This force causes the entire coil assembly to rotate. The stronger the current, the stronger the turning force. Now, how is this rotation turned into a useful measurement? The moving coil is attached to a central spindle, which is the red rod running vertically through the instrument. At the top of this spindle, we have a pointer. As the coil rotates, the spindle and the pointer rotate with it. The pointer moves across a calibrated scale, allowing us to read the value of the current. You'll also notice a small mirror behind the scale, which helps to avoid reading errors by ensuring your eye is directly in front of the pointer. Of course, we need a way to control this movement. That's the job of the spring. As the coil turns, it winds up the spring. The spring provides an opposing force, trying to return the pointer to zero. The pointer comes to a stop when the turning force from the current is perfectly balanced by the restoring force from the spring. This clever design ensures that the amount the pointer moves is directly proportional to the current. To make the movement as smooth as possible, the spindle is mounted on pivot and jewel bearings, which minimize friction. Finally, balancing weights are attached to ensure the entire moving system is perfectly balanced and rests at zero when no current is flowing. So, in summary, current flows through the coil, creating a magnetic force that rotates it. This rotation is opposed by a spring, and a pointer attached to the coil indicates the final, balanced position on a scale, giving us our measurement. Thanks for watching.